Say hello to undefeated Alexander Romanov, representing the Republic of Moldova. King Kong, as they call him, is a big, powerful guy. Yeah, well, it certainly was a slow start. Romanov clearly had a massive round there. But this is what Martinez needs. He's got to keep it on the feet, and he's got to get some work done. He cannot, under any circumstances, allow Romanov to take him down again. Well, he knows the takedown is coming. Boom! Could there fight it, it off, though. Second effort from Romanov gets his back to the canvas. Yeah, listen, Romanov is a big, strong guy, but he's also got excellent technique, and he knows what he has to do to win this fight. Romanov all over. Yeah, his transitions are very slick. Martinez clearly outgunned in the grappling department here. He is very slick on the feet in his tapes that I watched. When he's able to operate on the feet, he's a good boxer, very agile, good reflexes, and fast hands with great combinations. But look at this, Romanov just always one step ahead on the ground. Excellent control, and we may be seeing the beginning of an end. He's locking in the head and arm. Let's see what kind of defense Defense he's got. I think this could be the beginning of the end. Martinez trying anything he can. If you're close to tapping, he's Roman thinking I'm about it. Oh, there it is. Still undefeated. Welcome to the UFC, Alexander Romanov. Oh, and then the coach gets a slam. Hey, why not? For your trouble. We're all getting them. I'm going to slam you later, Brendan. <laughs> Well, DeLima is putting his head in between them. You see that? That's what he's trying to do. He's trying to win the head position in underhook war. But Romanov is just better at it right here. He's, he's always diggling and pummeling the underhooks. Another person who does this well is Daniel Cormier. This is where he beats a lot of people. He's in the pummel, and then he gets the takedown, and this is where Romanov is his best. As soon as Pesau tried to get offensive off of his back, Romanov greeted him with a couple of big shots. This, he's gotten this submission two times. He puts his forearm on your neck. Look how Dilema's flat on his back. When you're on your back, you want to be on a hip. Now he's on a hip. Now he has to get that left arm underneath Romanov's body. See how he's on his neck with his left arm? Yeah. That should be underneath the arm of Romanov. And then he needs to get his knees into the equation to create some space. But right now, this choke is deep. That He might be out. He's out. He put him out with it. Alexander Romanov that's a, with a that's submission. That's the third time he's third done that choke. forearm choke in his career. Last time was 2018. Look at the knee position. You see how he lifts that leg up of DeLima. That was a very technical takedown. Passes straight to side mount. I mean, this is picture perfect. Look at the positioning. All the weight on the neck. DeLima can't move. Flat on his back. He's out. That's it. That's it, right there, he's asleep. Couldn't even move. That man is powerful on top. Oh. Yeah, nice right hand. Live odds favor the Moldovan Romanov, minus 550, but how about Espino? Oh, Espino coming out heavy, smart with a good technique, nice takedown there. Romanov knows there's a lot at stake here. He worked right up, did not waste any time there. Yeah, the corner of Espino calling for top position, trying to get it there, and Romanov did a fantastic job of getting back to his feet momentarily. Still defending here, though, working his way back up. Romanov right now, though, is looking pretty exhausted. Seems like Espino's the fresher guy. And as his coach said, rightly so, top position, certainly when the two big heavyweights like this, and as you're getting tired, it's key. It could be enough to win the fight here. Well, I think we had a low blow in the clinch. So what was already a grueling fight, yeah, that one caught it. He's in a lot of pain. Oh, those are the worst. Done. You're done? And rightly so. I okay. like that. That's how we should yeah, be. That's it. Waves yep. it off. The fight will end here for the winner. By technical split decision, Alexander King Kong Romanov! Bandera posting here. Aaron's gotta move, you gotta fight back. Another cut seems to have opened up as well, John. I think he's cutting a couple places now. Bandera has answered every command from Mark Smith thus far. But the referee watching things closely under a minute now to go round two. Yeah, just when we think, oh, he's in a position where he might get the TKO. 
Vendera does a good job of showing that he's intelligently defending himself and fighting back. Now, by no means is he winning any of these exchanges, but he's still in this fight and still at least trying to get to a better position. Now he's in a lot of trouble, but he's going to have that fence really cause problems here for Romanoff. Instead, he grabs wrist control here. He's going to just keep pounding away. This is bad now. Now he's in mount. Three-quarter mount. He doesn't quite have that knee all the way over, but that's by choice. This could be the beginning of the end here. Oh, big shots in. Do it with style points. Alexander Romanov, 15 and 0. Paul Felder, you talk about making a statement, right? Domination of Jared Vander. You try to buck this way or hip push out. It doesn't matter. He's a step ahead of you and dominating you every step of the way. Not only that, but he's pounding you with hammer fists and elbows the entire time. That is a big man, and that is a big win for Alexander Romanov now. 4-0 in Las Vegas.